Installing Simulation Libraries The first step to build simulatable circuits in Ultima Designer is to configure the source libraries. In this lesson, we'll locate and install the necessary simulation libraries. So here we have Ultima Designer 15 installed, which is what will be used for this course. And one of the first things we need to do is to open up the Libraries panel. If you don't have that visible, go to the System panel button in the bottom right corner and then choose Libraries. Once you do that, the Libraries panel will open up. You'll notice in the very top there is two buttons. We want to click on that first one. It says Libraries, plural, and it will open up the available Libraries panel. Within the available Libraries panel, there are three tabs. Project, Install, and Search Path. This indicates where the libraries will be installed. If we choose the Install tab, these are libraries that will be accessible to you regardless of the project. So any project you do, you'll have right now two libraries available to you, miscellaneous connectors and miscellaneous devices. These are default libraries which are installed with Altium Designer. If you have a brand new Altium Designer installation, you'll probably see a number of FPGA libraries as well, uh, which you can leave or you can easily remove just by selecting the libraries in question. You can hold the shift key down to select multiples and then click on the remove button. We will now add five libraries that are necessary for this course. To do that, click on the install button in the bottom right of the dialog and choose the menu install from file. We're now going to navigate to this folder, Users, Public, Public Documents, Altium, AD15, and Library. Once here, you'll notice that there is a folder called Simulation. Click on that to open that folder, and here you'll have five individual simulation files that we'll be requiring. Select all of them, and then click on Open. And you'll notice instantly that we have now added those additional libraries to our dialog. If we click on close, they will now be available from the drop-down. 